Uh, Aaron Rodgers said this about their front office, quote, I think I have a number of years left in me. I can play at a high level. We just got to make sure we're going all in to win every year. I think we can take a big step this offseason. Uh, this from Rob Domofsky, who covers the team full time. He says, uh, Rodgers didn't specify what he meant by going all in, but uh, general manager Ted Thompson has been reluctant at times to mortgage, mortgage the future by trading away picks to move up, although he did so last year by taking an offensive tackle in the second round and spent much more money in free agency. His only major acquisition this last offseason was Jared Cook, who Rodgers says needs to be near the top of the priority list to be re-signed the way he played this year. Quote, we've got a lot of players who are young and are, are big contributors for us. We need to reload a little bit in the offseason. I, I think the push is for Ted Thompson to, to not just go grow from within. Right? Their whole deal is we got next man up, we draft, we got depth, it saves us money, then overspending for somebody else's problem. Like, that's great, but windows do close really quickly. They just do. And can you remake yourself? And the Falcons have been remade. Last year they stunk, but last year was... Why do you think they were so bad last year? I mean, look, the obvious, the obvious thing was they turned the football over a ton. But they've been searching for a pass rush for the last three, four years. And Vic Beasley was just kind of slow to come around. They've also surrounded other guys around Vic Beasley. He's matured, but they've also been able to get some interior pressure and put Dwight Freeney on the other side at times. So he's not going against double teams. But some of it's just he had to get better. And they basically gutted and revamped the offensive line and the defense. And then they got a free agent or two. Mohamed Sanu's won. So I'm not at all like the Redskins for a long time were all free agents, right? The Packers for a long time have been all homegrown. Look, you supplement your homegrown for a free agent here, a free agent there. And you're going to have to pro you're going to have to overpay for somebody to come from some other team, or they're just not any good. But I don't think that's unreasonable. I don't think he put unreasonable pressure on Ted Thompson. And he's like, look, we're close. Feels like we're close. You went out and got Jared Cook. He's a good fit. I like him. Jordy will be a year removed from ACL surgery. You saw how Jordy Nelson progressed towards first half of the year wasn't very good. Second half of the year was good. Devontae Adams had a sophomore slump much better this year. Better at the two. Right? And Randall Cobb is better as the third guy. Like, that's a good group. And... You know, when Big Boy gets healthy back there, you'll have two good running backs. You might bring in another one. He's a free agent. What would his, what would his value be? You've been hurt, been fat. You can find a running back. A running back is not that hard to find. But you got to build that defense.